Hello everyone, and this evening I am having a little watch party with my parents of the May Week mega event, which is this big virtual celebration of the end of the Cambridge academic year. We're marking the end of a tough year, you know, and a group of students from Cambridge have put together a committee, organised this event, and I was really honoured to be asked to host the first segment. There's so many talented Cambridge students performing. We're just watching Soft Crunchy Landing at the moment, who I've just introduced. It's very jazzy, um, but the stream is quite long. It's like a few hours long. We're looking forward to a long evening. Father's here too. <laughs> I'm filming this vlog because in a couple of days time, I'm going to be finishing my degree. I've got my Viva in a few days time, which I'll talk to you guys about soon, but I thought I'd start now because you can watch a bit of the mega event with me. most acclaimed actresses. She starred in Harry Potter, Nanny McPhee, Love Actually. Have you got it yet? Emma Thompson. It's only super famous Newnham alumna, Dame Emma Thompson. Oh my god, I got it. I often need a bit of preparation. I feel like I'm doing Blue Peter. We're now watching Emma Thompson plant a tree. <laughs> But this evening is not just about the entertainment. We're also supporting some amazing charities. Go Jesus! Is I allowed to say that? I'm excited for the finale as well. It's going to be big, it's going to be great. You don't want to miss it. Hello, so it's now 10 o'clock and we're still watching the May Week mega event. I've now got my flashcards though because I need to revise. My visa is 2.30 Tuesday afternoon and then I've got to be ready to be grilled on astrophysics basically. 33 minutes past midnight, we're still going. This technically makes us survivors of the virtual May Week mega event because normally when we're in Cambridge and we go to balls and we stay up all night, everyone who makes it to the next morning is called a survivor and you have a big survivor's photo. This year, they're encouraging us to take selfies I'm not looking my best right now though. Are you looking your best right now? No. <laughs> so we thought we'd just like vlog ourselves instead and put that up. <laughs> We're watching fireworks from a past Mabel and they look fantastic. I think it's from a Trinity Mabel and they're all sitting on punts on the river watching this amazing fireworks display. I never went to a Trinity Mabel or a John's Mabel and do you know it's okay because Jesus Mabels were good but they never had fireworks and these look pretty cool. We're gonna leave it at this. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What did they raise? 6,468. Yeah, as you can see, revision is going well today. <laughs> no, but I actually have been doing flashcards today. Look, got through this pack. I've got through this pack. I've got through this pack. I've got through all of these. I should probably explain a bit more about these vivas. Basically, a viva is an oral exam and we're going to get asked questions on our astrophysics course by the examiners and we've got to give a spoken response to those questions. They're obviously not taking place in person, they're all taking place on video calls. The good thing though, and the reason I'm not too stressed right now, is that a few weeks ago they confirmed that our grade can only go up from the viva so if we do bad in the viva they won't shift the grade we got in the written exams down so basically the viva is actually just an opportunity if for example you are on the boundary between two different grades you could shift yourself up a grade if you do well in the viva it's half an hour long and it's going to be with two examiners from the Institute of Astronomy and one external examiner. This is actually my first ever Viva. I've never had one before and we haven't been given much guidance on what they're going to 
entail. All they've said is they're going to be taking a holistic approach and trying to assess us on contextual things, looking at the whole course, tying everything together. The crazy thing is though, after my viva i am done literally there is no more after that i will have finished my degree hello no i'm just doing ready. a vlog clip oh my yeah. supper's ready so i'll speak to you guys after dinner i guess What I'm going to do now is get my exam papers out from a few weeks ago. They have said that they're not going to ask us to defend our answers to the exam questions in any detail because it's been three weeks since the exam. But I think even just going through some of the questions in the exam papers and just recapping my answers will just get me back into the zone of exam questions and problem solving. I forgot to say that I've had my hair cut since my last video. I didn't go to the hairdresser. My mum cut it for me, but I don't think she's done too bad a job. You can't really tell that it's not completely straight. I've straightened it at the moment, but my hair is naturally quite wavy. So if I leave it natural, you just, you wouldn't be able to tell at all if it was cut straight at the ends or not. But I'm just so happy it's shorter again. I hate my hair too long. We do love a quarantine haircut. I feel like looking at these exam papers again is going to give me some awful flashbacks from the exam. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh, paper four. Don't we love it? Okay, I'm going to <laughs> look through these papers. Good morning, everyone. I'm panicking. <laughs> and I don't think I need to be panicking, but I'm panicking anyway. It's... I only just past 11 now and my viva is at 2.30 so I'm gonna keep revising for a couple more hours then take a lunch break. Let's get back to it, got my pencil case out, got my formula booklet out. Not that I think I'm gonna need them because it's not like I'm gonna be writing anything. Hello, I have about five minutes until my viva is due to start. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous for this than I was for my written exams. My dad just said to me I should make the most of it because this is going to be my last ever opportunity to talk to some top Cambridge academics about astrophysics. It's a bit like my Cambridge admissions interview. That was my first ever experience talking to some top academics and now I'm rounding off my university experience. Again, having a extended conversation about science with some really intelligent people. I I've got my paper at the ready, pencil, I'm gonna plug my earphones in. Oh my god. Hello, so it is now the evening and I never updated you guys properly after my Viva, so here goes. It was okay. They asked a lot of very open-ended questions that you could answer in a multitude of ways. I gave it my best shot. I don't actually think it's going to have much consequence, so, you know, I did it. And now it's a bit mad because I finished my degree. I'd also just like to say that the examiners were really friendly on the Zoom call. There was actually only two of them in the end, so <laughs> a little less intimidating than three people. And it was actually just a really friendly conversation. So it wasn't anything to worry about. The revision I did yesterday was all kind of unnecessary. <laughs> now I just need to wait for results, which will be coming out soon. I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy a nice, long, relaxing summer. It is definitely time to take a break. It has been a stressful few months, but we got through it. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. 
and subscribe to see more videos from me. Follow my Instagram, which is at underscore page underscore why. Make sure you've hit the notification bell, then you're notified when I upload. You'll be notified when my results video goes live, so don't miss it. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Farewell from a gal who has just finished her degree. Thank you.